Yo, 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 what's up, everybody? What is going on, guys? We are here for the first Reds game of, well, not the first Reds game of the year. It's the second Reds game of the year, but it's our first game calling of the year. It's the second game between the Reds and the Washington Nationals. We'll also be back tomorrow as well for the game between the Reds and the Washington Nationals to wrap up the season. And then back on Monday, right here, it sits 40 for the start of the series between us and the Philadelphia Phillies. I'm hoping to call all three of those games between us and Philadelphia Phillies for you guys. Uh, yo, what's up, Daniel? I think they're all later on games. Hang on, let me see. That one's at 640. That one's at 640. Okay, so Wednesday, I will not be calling that game for you guys because it's at 105, but I'm hoping to call it Tuesday. I'll for sure be doing Monday, April 1st, and then I'm hoping to do Tuesday, and I won't, like I said, I won't be able to do Wednesday. Hey, yo, Andrew Abbott is pitching that game on Monday night. Let's go. Y'all know how much I love Andrew Abbott, bro. All right, so... Hunter Green is pitching here today for the Reds. I'm really excited about that. And then Nick. Hang on. Let's see what his full name is. Nick Martinez. Is the one on the mound for the Reds tomorrow. Andrew Abbott's on the mound on Monday. And then on Tuesday, it doesn't show who's on the mound for the Reds just yet. But yeah, I'm really excited about this being the first baseball game of the year, baby. Let's go, man. Y'all know how much I love my baseball. And we are here every single day of the week. If I can call the game for you guys. Like I said... Some games are going to be really tough, especially when closing series. Uh, When when closing series, um, like, you know, uh, unless unless we close a series on on the weekend, like on a Saturday or Sunday, I don't know how many of those I'm going to be able to call because. Closing a series, the game's always played in the middle of the day at like one or four. And throughout the week, I'm working at those times of the day. Now, it's making my nose run. Listen, I'm hoping we get Gavin in them back. Because we used to have people like Gavin and them here in here on a daily During baseball season, and then when we went over to football, everybody stopped coming in. Oh, my gosh.
All right, all I got to say is, how about that opening day for the Reds, man? We looked great. We won eight to three, I believe. And Nick Martina, or Nick Martini, hit uh, two home runs in that game, too. Yeah, we won eight to two. All right, so the starting lineup, the starting pitchers for the Washington Nationals is Patrick Corbin for the Rivals, Hunter Green. Oh, Jesse Winker. All right, it's Ar- Arbe- Arbus, Arbus, something like that. And then Thomas, Jesse Winker, Man- Man- Mancini, um, Gallo, Rizar- Rizar- Rizarro, something like that. No, that's Rosario, Eddie Rosario. Uh, Rizero, Rizero. I have no idea how the fuck to pronounce that guy's name, honestly. And then Garcia and Lip Lipcom. Lipcom is the ones starting for the Washington Nationals. Sorry, guys, I was pronouncing their last name because, to be honest, without seeing their first name, I don't really know any of them. Jonathan India, Spencer Steer, Christian and Carcion Strand. Or, um, can 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 Lario can Lario something like that? Um, Espinal, Espinalo, the new dude that we just got from the um, um, blue from the Toronto Blue Jays, I think is their name, and then El de la Cruz, uh. Stuart Fairchild, Luke May- Luke Miley, Luke Maley, and then Will Benson is the starting lineup for the Cincinnati Reds. And we are almost 10 minutes away from first pitch. First pitch is at 410, and it's going on 4 o'clock right now. Hey, bet. All right. So, All right, sorry guys. I was trying to knock those out of the way. What the hell? Um, okay. What the hell just happened? All right, are we good on this side? My TV is really tweaking right now. Okay, there we go. 
It was acting like it was having a tough ass time loading one symbol thing. Dude, what is going on here, man? This is really the last thing I need right before the game starts. Okay, there we go. I was going to say, what the fuck is going on here? Guys, were we good on this side, or was I also freezing? Because this TV was hella fucking freezing. All right, anyways, like I was saying, um, it's Hunter Green's start. Hunter Green starting to pitch today. But the thing I was trying to tell y'all is, so for whatever reason, on score count, hang on, guys. Um, anyways, sorry guys. My lips are on fire right now for whatever reason. I I swear I go long times without getting Tabasco, get it, and then I forget how hot it is and shit. But anyways, so the score count for whatever reason took the baseball overlay out. So... I had to make a tweak, and I was like, okay, what would be the best to use as the new baseball shit? So I'm using the football things, as you guys can see here. Um, I have the outline of Great American Ballpark, both the teams, the scores, their names, all the same. And then we're doing the top and bottom of the innings right here, like we did with the baseball things. And then I'm using the time, what would be originally the timeouts for football, I'm now using for baseball. So we got the arrow thing to give you an idea of who has the possession. And then once an out occurs, I'm going to boom, 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 reset. You know what I'm saying? Like, so hopefully everybody's cool with that, you know? Yo, yo, yo. Yo, yo, yo. All right. All right, we are five minutes away from first pitch. Let's do this thing. Let's do this thing right here, boys. All right, I must admit, all right, it was weird as hell. Watching a Reds game on Thursday, opening day, on my phone and not calling the Reds game. Because last year when the baseball season was going on, I didn't have a job at the time. So I was legitimately calling every single game for you guys. But like I said, now I do got a job. So we're only going to be able to do the games that we're able to do. Which is still going to be a pretty handful here. All 
Fun fact, I was supposed to actually be going to this game today, but I didn't have any money to buy any tickets with, so that sucks. But there is going to be a handful of games that me, Rebecca, and the boys do go to over the summer, so looking forward to that. What is this? Yeah, it was weird. It was like freezing. I don't know what the fuck was happening there. All right, so from what I read, Nick Martini is not in our starting lineup today for whatever reason, so uh, I want to know from you guys before the game starts, who is going to be the Reds MVP and does the Reds win this game? I'm going to say Reds win. And our MVP, I'm going to take Jonathan India. All right, here we go. Reds are taking the field, and we are set for first pitch at Great American Ballpark in Cincinnati, Ohio. So the Washington Nationals will have the ball first, and let's get this thing going, baby. So C.J. Abram, Logan Thomas, Jesse Winker, uh, Joey Gallo, I think, uh, Rosero, Eddie Rosario, Gar- uh, Garcia Jr., and somebody else is the lineup for the Washington uh, Nationals. Hunter Green, last season, he started 22 games, had a 4-7 in seven record in the ERA of 4.32, 112 innings pitched. 48 walks, 152 strikeouts, 19 home runs, and an opponent's ERA of .253. So we're hoping to see a better um, a better year from Hunter Green. Granted, after those two, after those 22 starts. He did get injured and was out for the rest of the year. All right, we are set to go here at Great American Ballpark, the top of the second. Abram is up first for the Washington Nationals. As this one is swung on and he hit it foul. No balls, one strike to Abram. 
All right, C.J. Abram, last season he played in 151 games. He had an ERA of 2.41, I think. It said as that one goes to the outside, one ball, one strike now from Hunter Green. Come on, Green, get him out. That one is swung on by Abram, but hit foul again. One ball, two strikes. He half swung at that one, and it went foul. All right, here we go. As that one is, they call it a ball. Come on, man. Two balls, two strikes now. Two balls, two strikes to Abram. That one is outside the zone again, and it's three balls, two strikes, full count. Hunter Green, five pitches. Come on, Hunter Green, get him out. That one is swung on by Abram and hit foul. And it remains three balls, two strikes. Yo, what's up, Michael? Thanks for coming in, brother. All right, three balls, two strikes to C.J. Abram. That one is swung on. Abram popped it up, and it goes out of play. Three balls, two strikes still. Hunter Green, seven pitches. Come on, baby. That one is to the outside, and Abram gets on with a walk. Hunter Green already starting off terrible, man. Come on. Oh, that's weird. Cristiano, Christian Arnett Carcion Strand is playing first base. Big hack by Logan Thomas, but he missed it. No balls, one strike. One on, nobody out, and nobody in here for the Washington Nationals. As that's Lane Thomas, excuse me. He played in 157 games. He had a ERA, I mean, a, um, whatever the hell you want to call it, at a 1.57, I think. As that one is a bit too high, but Hunter Green, one ball, one strike now. Hunter Green up to 10 pitches now on the evening. You ready for next weekend? What's going on next weekend? Is that one is in there for a strike? Maybe. Wow, that's caught a ball. Bro, get out of here. That was clear as day inside the strike zone. That one is swung on by Lane Thomas, and he missed it. Two balls, two strikes now. All right, 12, up to 12 pitches is Hunter Green. Like I said, one on, nobody out, nobody in here for the Washington Nationals. That one swung on Lane Thomas way back there. It is caught on Will Benson. He got it, and he will throw it in, and C.J. Abram has to go back to first base. That's one out, one on, and nobody in here for the Washington Nationals. WrestleMania is next weekend. Oh, yeah, I forgot about that. Yeah. All right, Jesse Winker is up now. Wow, it is weird seeing Jesse Winker. They got him. No, Christian. Oh, my God. Come on. What a great throw by Hunter Green. But Christian Nacarcion Strand dropped the ball. Otherwise, that was an instant out. Abram, he made it. Damn it. All right, Abram stills second base there. Luke Miley hit him right on the arm. His throw was a little bit down. And it hit Abram right on the arm and bounced inside. One ball, no strikes to Jesse Winker. One on, one out. Nobody in here for the Washington Nationals. That one in there for a strike from Hunter Green. One ball, one strike now. Come on, Hunter Green. That 
That one is swung on by Jesse Winker, and he missed it. One ball, two strikes now. All right, one ball, two strikes. I was in there for a strikeout on Jesse Winker. Let's go. What a great pitch by Hunter Green. And he got him out. Two out, one on, and nobody in here for the Washington Nationals in the top of the first. Great pitch, Hunter Green. All right, Joey Maness is up now. That one swung on and straight to Spencer Steer. And that ends the top of the first as we go to commercial break. When we come back, the Reds are going to be up for the first time as we head into the bottom of the first now. Great pitching from Hunter Green right there, man. Let's go, baby. All right, struck out the side to get us to the bottom of the first. Still tied, nothing, nothing between these two teams. We'll see what the Reds can do. What's up to the five people in the chat? How's everybody doing, guys? What's up to the six people in the chat? How's everybody doing? Guys, if you like the Reds, make sure you do subscribe. We are an NFL channel, but when the NFL season is not on, this is all we do is call Cincinnati Reds baseball games. So, yeah, if you love the Reds as much as me, make sure that you do subscribe. It's kind of sad um, because I have a Joey Votto jersey on right now, and he's no longer on the team. He's my favorite player, and he's no longer on the team. He is with the Toronto Blue Jays now, so I'm so I am forced – to secretly cheer for the Toronto Blue Jays outside of when they're playing the Cincinnati Reds, of course, when it's them and the Reds. Of course, I'm taking the Reds, baby. They're my favorite team. All right, starting lineup for the Reds is Jonathan India, Spencer Steer, Christian and the Carcion Strand, Ken uh, Lender, I think is how you pronounce his name, uh, and, and, Pen, and Pinello, I'm not sure how you pronounce those two names there, but I will get around to them as they come up. We are set as Patrick Corbin is the one pitching for the Washington Nationals. He appeared in 32 games last season, had a 10 and 15 record. I'm not sure what his ERA was. That one is down and outside the strike zone to Jonathan India. One ball, no strikes. Jonathan India is hitting 250 on the year. That one is top of the strike zone in there for a strike. Nice pitch by Corbin as Jonathan India last season played in 119 games, had an average of .244. I think it said he had 17 home runs. That's a nice slider in there. Jonathan India swings at it and missed it. One ball, two strikes now. As Jonathan India calls for timeout here. One ball, two strikes. That one is to the outside. Two balls, two strikes now. Jonathan India versus Patrick Corbin. He's four for eight. He has a home run, two RBIs. That one is swung on by Jonathan and Neil, but he rips it foul. It's still two balls, two strikes. Come on, India. Come on, Jonathan, India. That one is swung on by India, and he missed it on a nice slider there. And that's one out for the Reds. One out, nobody on, and nobody in here. For the Reds in the bottom of the first. Come on, man. <clears throat> All 
What's up to the eight people in the chat? How's everybody doing? Spencer Steer up now. As that one is a nice slider, bottom of the zone for a strike. No balls, one strike. Spencer Steer last season played in 156 games. He had an average of 271. Not sure how many home runs or RBIs. As that one is to the outside, one ball, one strike. Gotta love this kid, man. I love me some Spencer Steer. Come on, Steer. One ball, one strike. That one is swung on by Spencer Steer, but he swung a little bit late, and that's one ball, two strikes now. Ah, come on, Spencer Steer. That one is outside the strike zone. Two balls, two strikes now. Corbin is up to 10 pitches on the evening now. Spencer Steer ripped it, and it goes foul. Come on, man. Damn it. All right, two balls, two strikes. Spencer Steer last season was the second Reds rookie with 30 doubles, 20 home runs, and 80 RBIs since 1960. That one swung on. Steer. Oh, what a grab. CJ Abram, are you kidding me? How did he catch that from shortstop? Get out of here. Wow. Oh, what a diving catch. Oh, my God. Come on, bro. He just robbed Spencer Steer. Two out, nobody on, and nobody in for the Reds in the bottom of the first. Come on, Reds. Allen is swung on by Christian and Nacarcy on Strand, and it's no balls, one strike. Christian and Nacarcy on Strand last season played in 68 games. And I didn't get to read anything because it disappeared as soon as it showed up. That one's another slider. And Christian under Carsey on Strand swings at it again. No balls, two strikes. Come on, Christian under Carsey on Strand. What are you doing, man? That one is swung on. Rip to third base. He throws it over. And they got him. Oh, what a grab on at first base over there to get him out. Wow. You've got to be kidding me. Hang on. Let's take a look. Yep. They beat him by a mile. Damn it. All right. Top of the second coming up here. All right, top of the second coming up here, and the Washington Nationals are due back up with the game still tied. Nothing, nothing between these two teams. What's up to the five people in the chat? Mike is 40 today, and my mom gave him $50. Nice. Tell Mike I said happy birthday. Nice, nice. <sighs> My, why the hell did you change your name to Old Lady Sky? You realize you're only like 30 years old, bro. The point. All right, guys, are we still good on my end? Yeah, looks like we're still good on my end. Okay, good. All right, I think they're showing the last time Hunter Green played 
the Washington Nationals, and he had 14 strikeouts. All right, we are back. He does not. He does have two strikeouts today. As that one is a half swing, they're gonna say that he did not swing around enough there. One ball, no strikes. Gallo up now for the Washington Nationals. Hunter Green at 19 pitches. As that one is also outside the strike zone. Two balls, no strikes. Come on, Hunter Green. Two balls, no strikes. That one is in there for a strike. Two balls, one strike now. Come on, Hunter Green. Joey Gallo, last season with the Twins, he played in 111 games. That one's in there for a strike. Two balls, two strikes. Nice pitch, Hunter Green. That one was to the outside left corner of the plate there. That one is swung on by Joey Gallo, and he hit it foul. Two balls, two strikes still. Come on. That one is swung on by Joey Gallo, and he missed it. One out, nobody on, and nobody in here for the Washington Nationals. All right, uh, Ruiz, Ruiz is in, and he ripped it in there to center field on the very first pitch. As uh, Stuart Fairchild does get it back in, so no advances there. But it is now one guy on, one out, one uh, one on, one out, one on, and nobody in here for the Washington Nationals in the top of the second. Sorry about that, guys. All right, as Eddie Rosario is up now, that one is in there for a strike. No balls, one strike. Eddie Rosario, last season with the Braves, played in 142 games. He was hitting 255, 21 home runs, 74 RBIs. As that one is outside the strike zone, he's hitting 333 to start the season. As that one is swung on, can we get a double play? We can! And that ends the inning like that. Eddie Rosario hit into a double play inning. Top of the second as we head to the bottom of the second. The game is still tied. Nothing, nothing. Hang on, guys. I'll be right back. All right, sorry about that, guys. I had to go get the um, go get the fish sticks out that my fiance made. She said that they're outside. That she's outside with the dog. Well, I don't even see them.
just kept my PS5 there and didn't bring it. And if I'm not playing the game, there is no reason. Oh my God. All right, so Washington has one hit so far. The Reds do not have a hit at all yet. We'll see if they can get one here. As Ken Ken Lario is up now as he swings there, and that one is a strike. One ball, one strike. Whoever this guy is, um, he did play with the Washington Nationals last season. As with the Washington uh, Nationals and the Chicago Cubs, he played in 110 games. Not sure what his ERA or anything was like that as he swings on it and hits it foul. One ball, two strikes. Come on, Reds. That one is outside the strike zone. Two balls, two strikes. That one is outside the strike zone as well. Three balls, two strikes now. Full count. That one is swung on outside the strike zone. Had he let it go, it would have been a walk. But he swung at it and missed it. And that's one out, nobody on, and nobody in here for the Reds. In the top, I mean, in the bottom of the second, excuse me. Come on, man. All right, Santiano Espada is up now as it is no balls, one strike. As last season versus the Blue Jays, he appeared in 93 games, 248, two home runs, 25 RBIs, no balls, one strike, swung on it. He grabbed it, third base, down over, he got in there safely. Let's go, baby. Let's go, man. Great shit. He hit it fairly, and then the third baseman made a great grab there. Throws it over, but it's offline. And and what's his face? I forget his name now. Dude from the Toronto Blue Jays gets on for us. Let's go, baby. All right, Ella De La Cruz is up. As that one is outside the strike zone, De La Cruz is hitting 333 on the season. As last season, he appeared in 98 games, 252, three home runs, and 10 RBIs. One ball, no strikes. As he checks on the runner over there at first base, and he's back in there safely. Rebecca, I already got them out. That one is outside the strike zone as well. Two balls, no strikes now to Ella De La Cruz. Come on. God, Lord, wait. I don't know. No. Yes, hang on. Bye. Oh, my God. Come on, man. As that is a strike to De La Cruz, and he does what he did much of last season. That swing, it shit outside the strike zone. Two balls, one strike. 
Come on, De La Cruz. That one is swung on. De La Cruz, it's back there. It's going to get caught on by the center fielder, and he's out. Two out, one on, and nobody in here for the Reds in the top and the bottom of the second. Hang on, guys. Swear to God, dude. I cannot call games. Stupid shit like this. Trying to call a damn baseball game. All right, I'm back. Uh, Stuart Fairchild is up now. Two out, one on. Nobody in here for the Reds. As that one goes flying down in the dirt, Stuart Fairchild takes it. One out. Nobody, or one ball, no strikes. Excuse me. Thank you guys for the likes. Guys, if you haven't already, make sure to like the live stream. It just helps push out the content, and it's free. As that one is outside the strike zone, Espinal, he stole the base. He's in there to second. Let's go, baby. All right, two balls, no strikes. That one is swung on and a nice slider in there to Stuart Fairchild. Fairchild last season appeared in 97 games, had an average of 228, five home runs, 28 RBIs. Two balls, one strike. Come on, Stuart Fairchild, baby. That one is outside the strike zone, and they're going to say that he swung again. Ah, two balls, two strikes. Stuart Fairchild in spring training was hitting 333, three home runs and eight RBIs. That one is outside the strike zone, three balls, two strikes, full count. Come on, Stuart Fairchild. Guys, by the way, I will be back tomorrow to wrap up the series between us and the Washington Nationals. I'll be back on Monday for the start of the series between us and the Philadelphia Phillies. I'm hoping to also call Tuesday's game. I will not be here Wednesday to wrap up the series against Philadelphia because it's at 140. That one is swung on by Stuart Fairchild and hit foul. Still three balls, two strikes. That one is swung on Stuart Fairchild, but he hit it foul, and it's still three balls, two strikes. Corbin is up to 34 pitches only here in the second inning. As Espinosa is over there at second base. That one swung on. It's ripped in there. Espinosa. He comes around and he's tagged out. Oh, come on. Are you kidding me? Why did you even attempt that, Espinosa? Oh, my God. So, Stuart Fairchild rips one in to center, or yeah, to center field. Great throw by the center fielder and tagged him out. Top of the third coming up now. And we are still tied. Nothing, nothing between these two teams. 
Top of the third coming up. Oh, my God. All right, we are back as Garcia Jr. is up now for the Washington Nationals. As that one is a nice slider in there by Hunter Green, and it snowballs two strikes now as Hunter Green is up to 30 pitches. What's up to the five people in the chat? John, what's up? Hell yeah, that was an extremely good opening day by us. Our team looked fantastic in opening day, so I'm hoping we can stay like that, too, as it is one ball, two strikes. That one is in there for a strike, and he got him. Strike out, Hunter Green. Yes, sir, baby. <laughs> one out, nobody on, and nobody in here for the Washington Nationals. That one is swung on, and he missed it. No balls, one strike. As Lemkin, 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 however the fuck you pronounce his name, is up now. Yeah, Hunter. Hunter's a really good pitcher, man. That one is swung on. He hit it in there to left field as that is one on, one out, and nobody in here for Washington. Come on, man. All right, back to the top of the inning as C.J. Ambrose, uh, Ambrose, I don't forget how to fuck pronounce his name, is up to bat now. Is that his one ball, no strikes? That one is apparently outside the strike zone. Two balls, no strikes. Wow. Wait, does he play for the Nationals? Thank you. Um, can you grab me some more chips? That one is swung on and he missed it. And it's two balls, two strikes now. 
Does that guy play for us or for the Nationals? Damn it. Lipkin still second base, and the pitch was down outside the strike zone. So now it's a full count, three balls, two strikes. Come on, man. That one is swung on, and he got him out. Great pitch, Hunter Green. Two out, one on, nobody in here for the Washington Nationals in the top of the third. But they do got a guy up to second base right now. Sorry, guys. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. I know who you're talking about now, John. Yeah, dude. He is a beast. I'm really, really excited about our bullpen this season, John. I'm really hoping things come to fruition with them because if it does, oh, man. It could be a massive season for the Reds because that's really all the Reds were missing. We already got great hitters now, especially now with Nick Martini because uh, Nick Martini has brung this team to life. And then with Frankie um, Montaz or, or Mont Montin, however the hell you pronounce his last name. Um, yeah, really looking forward to the season. Nice catch by that kid too. No balls, two strikes as Landon Thomas is up now. He's 0 for 1 on the evening. That one is outside the strike zone, apparently. One ball, two strikes. Hunter Green up to 45 pitches on the evening. Yeah. Yeah, Suter is. Yeah. That one swung on and he missed it. Hunter Green, three shutdown innings. Let's go, baby. You love to see it. All right, come on, hitters. Let's get on track here, baby. All right, bottom of the third coming up now, and we'll see what the Reds can do as they are due up. Still time, nothing, nothing between these two teams. Yeah. Yeah, and we actually get to figure that out tomorrow, John, because he's the starting pitcher for the Reds tomorrow. So I'm excited to see what he does. And I'll be right here live calling the game for you guys as well. Uh. All right, we're back to the game. Let's do this.
As Luke Malley's up now, Luke Malley first hit, picked up by Abram and thrown over and got him out. Damn it. That's a really quick out. One out, nobody on, and nobody in here for the Reds. Luke Malley. All right, well, Benson's up now. That one is outside the strike zone. One ball, no strike. Will Benson hitting 250 on the season. Come on, Will Benson. That one is swung on by Will Benson. And I believe it went off the pitcher, I mean, off the catcher's face mask there. And he looks like he's a little bit shaken up. So they're going to check on him real quick. All right, one ball, one strike. That one is outside the strike zone as it is two balls, one strike now. That one is swung on by Will Benson, and it's two balls, two strikes now. That one is outside the strike zone. Three balls, two strikes, full count now. My Mets lost. Oh, damn. I'm sorry to hear that, Alex, bro. Hopefully the Reds can pull this one out. That one is outside the strike zone, and Will Benson is on with a walk for his first appearance today. As it is one on, one out, and nobody in here for the Reds in the bottom of the third as uh, Jonathan India is up now for the Reds. Back to the top of the lineup for the Reds. What's up to the seven people in the chat? How's everybody doing? That one is outside the strike zone. One ball, no strikes. Jonathan India, he's 0 for 1 on the evening as Corbin is up to 45 pitches on the evening now. Well, Benson! I don't understand what the hell Will Benson was trying to do there. And he's out. He was trying, he got caught down in a run down there and gets tagged out at second base. All right, two out, nobody on for the Reds and nobody in here as Jonathan India, one ball, no strikes. That one is also outside the strike zone. Two balls, no strikes now. Jonathan Indian, uh, 0 for 1 with a strikeout. That one also down in the dirt. Three balls, no strikes. That one is bottom of the zone. Caught a strike. Three balls, one strike to Jonathan India. All right, I won't. That one swung on. Jonathan India grabbed on by Abram. Thrown over. Got him out. And that's another one, two, three inning by the wayside for the Reds. Come on, man.
All right, top of the fourth coming up. Still tied. Nothing, nothing between these two teams, man. Uh, Hunter Green doing a great job keeping us in the game, but this team, like always, can't capitalize on anything. Nice. Hey, who's winning the game, Alex? Is your uh, Rays winning, and who are they playing? All right, we are back as Jesse Winker is back up to start the fourth. One ball, no strikes to Jesse Winker. <clears throat> as that one is outside the strike zone as well, they'll say that he did not go. And it's two balls, no strikes now to Jesse Winker. Come on, man. Nice. That one's outside the strike zone. Three balls, one strike to Jesse Winker. Hunter Green up to 50 pitches. That one also outside the strike zone. Four balls, one strike, and easily watched Jesse Winker. Come on, Hunter Green, man. Ah, this is what you got to hate. You see great innings from Hunter Green, and then you see, you see really shitty innings from Hunter Green. As that one is... Joe Manson is up now. He's 0 for 1 on the evening with a line out. And that one was in there for a ball. One ball, no strikes. That one is too high. They'll say Nansen did not swing at it again. Two balls, no strikes. Jesse Winker at first base for the Washington Nationals. One on, nobody on, nobody in here for the Washington Nationals. Ripped on by Nansen, and it goes foul. Two balls, one strike now. All right, come on. That one is in there for a strike. Two balls, two strikes. Come on, Hunter Green. He's up to 55 pitches on the evening, and he definitely broke that plane. That one is swung on. Nansen, it's a high fly. And it's off the wall as they're both in there safely. Joe, uh, Jesse Winker at third base, Nansen at second base, still no outs. He put an absolute rock into that hit there, Nansen did. And I thought it was going to be a home run for a minute, 
but it goes clanking off the wall. Spencer Steer able to throw it back in, though, in time before they can uh, get a run in. And that's to the outside. One ball, no strikes. Joey Gallo up now. He's 0 for 1 on the evening. Hunter Green, 57 pitches. Come on, man. As that one is swung on by Joey Gallo, and he missed it. One ball, one strike now. Come on, Joey. I mean, come on, Hunter Green. That one's way too far to the outside. Two balls, one strike now. Hunter Green already almost up to 60 pitches, man. We might have to take him out here soon. This is really terrible. That one is to the outside as well. Three balls, one strike. Three balls, one strike, two on, nobody out, and nobody in here. As that one is swung on by Gallo, and he missed it. Three balls, two strikes. Hunter Green, 61 pitches on the evening now. That one's in there for a strikeout. Joey Gallo is out of there. Let's go, baby. One out, two on. Nobody in here for the Washington Nationals, and he got him. Yes, sir, baby. That one might be a little to the outside, but who gives a shit? All right, Rizzo. It hits a high fly, but it goes out of play there. No balls, one strike. He's one for one on the evening. He hit a single back in the second. Let's hope he doesn't do that again. That one swung on and he hit it foul. No balls, two strikes. Swung on it. High fly. That one is. Come on. No. Did a cruise. He dropped it. Go over. Wow. No fucking shot. No. No. David Bell. Challenge that. Challenge that. Challenge that fucking shit. How do you drop the goddamn ball, De La Cruz? He dropped the ball, but he got it back in there, and I think he got Jesse Winker out, but they call him safe. Oh, he's out! He's out! That's two tags before he even touched the base! Right there is one... Bro, I think that's an out. Come on, man. That has got to get being out. Bro, the Reds are not going to challenge it. That is unreal. One nothing. Washington Nationals lead it. Eddie Rosario hits it. Foul. No balls. One strike. He is 0 for 1. He hit into a double play here last time. And let's hope he does it here again. And get out of this fucking inning only down by one, man. Come on, Hunter Green. That one is swung on by Eddie Rosario on a nice slider there. 
As what the hell? They're saying one ball, one strike. He clearly swung at that. Bro, if this is not cheating shit, I don't know what is. That's wild. That one is swung on. And he's out of there. Yes, sir, baby. Let's fucking go. Yes, sir. Great pitching by Hunter Green. Way to come back, Hunter Green. Let's go, baby. Two out. Two on and one in here for the Washington Nationals. Garcia popped it up. Luke Miley comes over, but he is not going to be able to grab that one as it is no balls, one strike. Runners on at first and second for the Washington Nationals. One in here after a bullshit call that Jesse Winker made it home safely. Two out, though. That one is swung on and another miss. Let's go. Come on, Hunter Green. Get him out. No balls, two strikes. Garcia's 0 for, uh, 0 for 2. That one is a bouncer, and it's one ball, two strikes. Nice cut down by Luke Ma by Luke Maley there. Otherwise, that would have been another run in. <clears throat> Come on, Hunter Green. That swung on by Garcia and hit foul. Bouncer to the plate again. Two balls, two strikes. Hunter Green already at 74 pitches, and we're only in the fourth. Yeah, the Reds are going to have to take Hunter Green out here soon. Oh, my God. You hate to see this. That one swung on. High fly. Christian and Acarcio on strand. He'll take it, and that's an out. I'll get them either way, baby. Let's go. We only give up one run as they call Luke. I mean, they call Joey Winker safe there. As we head to the bottom of the fourth, the Reds are now losing one to nothing to the Washington Nationals. Come on, man. We got to get back in this. This is terrible. What's up to the 10 people in the chat? How's everybody doing, guys? Make sure you're smacking that like button if you haven't already. It's free now. Let's push out the content. We are an NFL channel, but when there's no football on, we do call Reds baseball games. So if you guys love the Reds as much as me, please make sure to subscribe. And that's exactly what we got, John, there. That's exactly what we got. All right, we are back to the game as the Reds 
Our new up as Spencer Steer has that one, but hits it high, fly, up and out of play. No balls, one strike. Spencer Steer, he's 0 for 1 with a line out in, in the first inning. As that one is outside the strike zone on a nice slider there, but Spencer Steer holds off one ball, one strike. <clears throat> that one swung on, but it's just going to be a high fly pop out to left field. Jesse Winker caught it. That's one out. Nobody on and nobody in here for the Reds in the bottom of the fourth. <clears throat> Oh, man, this is not looking good for the Reds. Come on, man. All right, Christian and the on Strand is due up now. As Corbin is up to 52 pitches on the evening. That one swung on. Christian and the on Strand, great grab by third baseman, and he throws it over and got him out. Two really quick outs. Nobody on and nobody in here. For the Reds, as that was Lipkin, Lipcomb over there at third base. <clears throat> that one is outside the strike zone as Caler Calerium. Is the one up now as he is 0 for 1 on the evening with a strikeout back in the second inning. One ball, no strikes. That one is a nice slider in there, bottom of the zone. One ball, one strike now. That one is swung on. That's a high fly. Could it be? Yes! It's gone! Bye, bye, bye! He did it! He did it! Palandrium hits a home run. Let's go, baby! 379 feet. I'm not sure the ets of philosophy, but let's go. Nonetheless, home run for the Reds, and this game is tied with two out. Go ahead and put the Viking hat on, young man. Let's fucking go, baby. Let's go. Yes, sir. All right. As that one is in there for a strike, maybe. That one is swung on. Grabbed on by the third baseman, thrown over, got him out. Outside of that home run, that was a really nice inning pitch there by the Washington Nationals, Patrick Corbin. But this one is just a slammer home run. And we're heading to the top of the fifth, tied 1-1-1-1 one, 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 one to 1 now. Let's go, baby. All right, top of the fifth, and the Washington Nationals are due back up. <laughs> I know, right, John? Damn, man, we've seen ton of them in uh, in uh, we seen ton of them in, on opening day, and now already one here. Let's go.
Okay. He's going to play in Canada. All right, we are back as Lipcomb is up to bat now as it is one ball, one strike. Lipcomb one for one as he singled back in the third inning. As that one is outside the strike zone, Hunter Green still in there pitching for the Reds. He's up to 77 pitches now on the evening. Top of the fifth, two balls, one strike. <clears throat> in spring training, he appeared in 21 games. As that one is hit by Lipcomb, grabbed on by the third baseman, thrown over and got him out. Nice throw there by the third baseman. Let's go, baby. All right, here we go. As we are back to the top of the order, and Abram is up now. He's 0 for 1. That one's in there for a strike. As that one comes ripping in at 100 miles an hour. CJ Abram, he's 0 for 1 on the evening. Will a walk back in the first. No balls, one strike. That one is outside the zone. One ball, one strike now. Come on, Hunter Green. Hunter Green now at 80 pitches on the evening. That one is outside the strike zone down in the dirt. It's two balls, one strike now. That one is swung on by Abram, but hit foul. And it's two balls, two strikes. Guys, really. Really good news as Nick Lodolo tomorrow will be pitching for the Louisville Bats. He's expected to go five innings or longer. So it's one step closer to him coming back to the Cincinnati Reds. you love to hear that as he is going to be a big part of our rotation here. Three balls, two strikes now for Hunter Green as that one is outside the strike zone. And he walked Abram up. As it's one on, one out, and nobody in here for the Washington Nationals in the top of the fifth. Hunter Green up to 84 pitches. At what point in time do you decide to take Hunter Green out, man? All right, as Landon Thomas is up now, as he is 0 for 2 on the evening. As Abram runs and... Are you kidding me? Luke Maley just drops the ball and he advances safely to second. <clears throat> All right, one ball, no strikes. That one is outside the strike zone as well, as it is two balls, no strikes. Come on, man. Oh, my God, man. This is terrible. Guys, what's up today, people in the chat? If you haven't already, make sure to smack that like button. It's free, and it helps push out the content as Landon Thomas swings at that one and misses it. Two balls, one strike now. That one is swung on. High fly. It's in there. And they dropped the ball. Are you freaking kidding me? Luckily, the pitch went foul. But somehow, Christian and Nicarcy on strand and Will Benson both missed the freaking catch. What is going on, man? 
That's the second time that has happened today for the Reds. Luckily, this one is out of play. It went foul, but the first one was in play when Ella De La Cruz just missed the same catch that they did. Two balls, two strikes. That one is outside the strike zone. Three balls, two strikes, full count. Oh, my God, man. Wow. That one is outside the strike zone, and he walked him. Two on, one out, and nobody in here for the Washington Nationals. As Hunter Green is up to 90 pitches on the evening. Bro, I guess we're going to figure out how good our – I guess we're going to figure out how good our – uh, relief pitchers are here because they're going to have to take them out very soon. Uh. <clears throat> Yeah, honestly. Honestly, it's really not. All right. Hunter Green's going to stay in. He's at 90 pitches, two on, one out, and nobody in here as Jesse Winker is back up. And he was the one that scored the go-ahead run for the Washington Nationals last time. He came around to score as it is one ball, no strikes. That one is also outside the strike zone. Two balls, no strikes now. Oh, my God. Come on, man. If he loads the bases, we have got to take him out. That one is swung on. Jesse Winker, high fly, out of play. Two balls, one strike. That one is way outside the strike zone. Three balls, one strike. A favorable hit pitch to Jesse Winker. Yeah, I'm not liking this situation here. Us Reds fans know how Jesse Winker is, man. That one is in there for a strike. Delivered straight down the middle. And for whatever reason, Jesse Winker just watched it. Three balls, two strikes. Come on, Hunter Green. That one is swung on by Jesse Winker, and he hit it foul. It was outside the strike zone there. That one is swung on, and Hunter Green is not able to corral it in as Jesse Winker will make it to first base, but the slowdown there of it popping out of his glove is not enough to bring C.J. Abram around, and the bases are loaded with still only one out. Oh, my God, John. I'm glad that you have relief believe in the reliefers because so far, like I said, I did not watch the opening day game, but so far this season, I do not have belief uh, because I'm going solely based off of last season as Nick, as Nancer is in there now and he's one for two on the evening. They're going to say that he held up in time. Joey Man Man Manson is his name, excuse me, not Nance or what the hell. Joey Manson, and it's one ball, no strikes. That one is swung on, and he hit it foul as it's one ball, one strike now. 
Last season with runners in the position, he was hitting 363, 13 doubles, three home runs, 73 RBIs. All right. Uh, that one is swung on. And Stuart Fairchild grabs it on, but the runner will make it in there safely from third base. And with two out, the Washington Nationals retake this lead as it is two to one. Washington Nationals and Hunter Green is up to 100 pitches. And here comes David Bell. Oh, well, David Bell, you're one too late, motherfucker. Oh, we don't have the lead anymore now. All right, Hunter Green comes out with 100 pitches on the evening. As I'm not sure who's coming in for the Reds, but we'll take a uh, call, a Skyline Chili call to the bullpen here. I have no idea whether it's him or not, John. I'll let you know as soon as we get back. Hang on, guys. I'll be right back. All right, I am back. Sorry about that, guys. Had to go get me some more chips to eat with my Tabasco sauce. Okay, it is not him. It's Justin Wilson is uh, the one out. And in 2021-2022 with the Reds, he appeared in 262 games. I think it's said, what a great grab. Throw it over. Got him out. Let's go. The Reds do it again. They get out of the inning with only giving up one run. As we are heading to the bottom of the fifth with the Reds due up, and the Reds are back down by one again. As it is now two to one, the Washington Nationals leading. It is Justin Wilson, and he does his job there. Yeah, honestly, I'm confident in Buck Farmer, too. Right. A Antoine, A Anton, or however the hell you pronounce his name, I don't know yet because...
Andon and Simmons, I'm not sure because um, just like many of the Reds um, relievers, they're either really good or really bad. But Farmer, I feel like he's the only reliever that we have so far that has the capability of starting off really shitty and then re-picking himself up. But he is in there by a mile. It was a bunt for De La Cruz, and he gets on. One on. Nobody out and nobody in here. Flores in the top of the fifth. I mean, in the bottom of the fifth, excuse me. Great bunt there by De La Cruz. And he went flying. All right, as Stuart Fairchild is up now. He's also one for one on the evening. Corbin still in there pitching. He's almost at 60. De La Cruz, he stole it. What? They call him out. Wow. Oh, he was there safely, but I think he came off the bag, and I think the Reds are going to lose this one. Ah, fuck. Yeah, I think the Reds are going to lose this challenge. All right, the Reds did challenge. We'll see. A leadoff bunt. Yes, sir, John. How's Ellie doing? Um, <clears throat> he just let off the inning with a bunt and then tried to steal second base. It looks like he did come off the bag, and the dude may have tagged him out. Uh, the Reds are challenging it. He was called out. The Reds are challenging it. Here's the call. Yeah, the runner, I mean, the play call stands, and the runner is out. So Ellie got tagged out. I was afraid of that happening. The Reds lose a challenge as well. As it is now nobody on. Nobody on, nobody in. And I'm not sure who's up for the Reds now on the top of the fifth. I mean the bottom of the fifth, excuse me. Stuart Fairchild rips it in to left field, and that's one on, one out, and nobody in here. So if De La Cruz didn't try to steal second base there, we would have two on, nobody out, and nobody in for the Reds. 
Great swinging by Stuart Fairchild there. Yeah, I agree, John, 100%. As Luke Maley is up now, as he is 0 for 1 on the evening. One ball, no strikes. That one is outside the strike zone as well. Two balls, no strikes. All right, come on, Reds. Two balls, no strikes, one on, one out. Nobody in here for the Reds. I went swung on. It swims. It's back there. It's gone. The Reds take the lead. Look, Bailey. He did it. Bang, bang, bang. First home run of the season for Luke Maley. And it's a two-run home run. And the Reds take the lead just like that, baby. Still only one out. Let's fucking go. Luke Maley does it. Wow. Well, Benson up now, and that one is to the outside. One ball, no strikes. Still only one out. Luke Maley with a two-run home run gives the Reds the lead. Three to two now. That one is swung on by Will Benson, but he swings at it a bit too late. And that's one ball, one strike now. <clears throat> That one is in there. Top right zone of the corner. A nice slider in there. Two at one ball, two strikes now. Thank you. As it is two balls, two strikes now to Will Benson. That one is swung on. Will Pinson, he ripped it in there to center right field. He's going all the way around. He makes it in to, to uh, second base with a stand-up double. And the Reds got another one on. Hell yeah. Um, to be honest, I have no idea why uh, Jake Fraley's not playing. Let's go, baby. Will Benson in there with a double. All right, one on, one out, two in here for the Reds, and we're getting a pitcher change. For the Washington Nationals, as we are going to go back to commercial break. I know, right, John? Hey, uh, Maley's not bad, though. I like him as a catcher. But he is mainly known for his defense, not his offense. Yeah, honestly, me too, John. Don't uh, don't worry about it. I I know exactly who you guys are talking about. And trust me, sometimes I can't even pronounce the damn 
players' names right. You know what I'm saying? So we're all in the same boat. But yeah, I would absolutely, I, I, I would absolutely like to see more of Jake Fraley and Stuart Fairchild. Yeah, and he actually already hit a home run today. He did. He hit a home run already today, and he tied the game one-one. And now Luke Luke Maley hit a uh, home run, made it three to two. As we are back to the top of the, back to the top of the um, back to the top of the lineup. My God, if I could speak. And it is Jonathan Nia. Hold up. What the hell? We lit Drake Lago? Wow. He's the one in there pitching now for the Washington Nationals. It's ripped in there. Send Will Pinson around. He goes. Will Pinson. He's safe. And it's four to one. I mean, four to two. Let's go. As Jonathan India rips it in there, and he's in with a double. Will Benson is in, and it's four to two. Reds are starting to cut this thing wide open, and Drake Law throws one right down center field, right down Broadway. Let's fucking go, Will Benson. Let's go. Uh, Drake Law, as that one is swung on, as Spencer Steer will be thrown out. But there goes Jonathan India to third base, as it is two out, one on, and three runs in here for the Reds. All right, Christian Nacarsi on Strand is the one in there pitching. I mean, one in there hitting now as that one is to the outside. One ball, no strikes. Christian Nacarsi on Strand, he's 0 for 2 on the evening with two ground outs today. As that one is swung on a nice slider by Drake Law, and that's one ball, one strike. Law up to five pitches on the evening. That one is swung on by Christian Nacarsi on strain, and he hit it foul as it is one ball, two strikes now. As he swings on it and misses, and that's an out. Damn. All right, that will bring the inning to an end, but the Reds are now up by two as it is four to two. Cincinnati leads it as we head to the top of the sixth with the Washington Nationals due back up. All right, guys, am I good? All right, guys, am I good? Yeah, I'm good. If Sir Fairchild made one more mistake, I'm going to be outside with him. What do you mean? What do you mean? I don't, I haven't seen Sir Fairchild make any mistakes in this game, Connor.
Um, is Stuart Fairchild playing center field? I think he is the center fielder. But I haven't seen him make any mistakes, I feel like. All right, as that one is swung on and he hit it foul as Wilson is still out there pitching. Top of the sits now, no balls, two strikes to Razar, Razar, however the you pronounce his name. He's two for two on the evening for the Washington Nationals. As that one is swung on and he hit it foul, going to remain no balls, two strikes. As that one is swung on and he hits it foul again, yeah, up and down to play, no balls, two strikes still. As Luke Maley was looking for it, but it goes up and out of play. Still no balls, two strikes as he fouls that one off again. If y'all are talking about Dick Braley is the answer, yeah, I think he could be. But we, but you can't start him every single game, so you got to find a rotational player. But I'm pretty sure um, Stuart Fairchild's playing center. Will Benson is out and right. But if you're talking about that play – where the ball got hit up in the air and everybody came in and missed it, that was solely on De La Cruz. De La Cruz was calling everybody off and somehow missed the ball. Like, you can't call people off and then miss the ball. That's terrible. As that one is popped up, Maley catches it, and that is an out. As it is one out, nobody on, and nobody in here. Top of the six. Let's go. Listen, that was on De La Cruz, Connor. De La Cruz called everybody off and then missed the catch. So... I'm not blaming that one on Stuart Fairchild. I'm blaming it on uh I'm blaming it on on De La Cruz there. Yeah, honestly. As that one is outside the strike zone as well. Two balls, no strikes. As Eddie Rosario is up now, he's 0 for 2 on the day. Wilson at 11 pitches on the evening. Top of the sixth. As Eddie Rosario pops it up. As Christian McCarthy on strand. He missed it! Are you fucking kidding me? For the third goddamn time today! What the fuck are you doing, man? Oh my god, just fucking catch the fucking ball! What is happening with our defense right now? They're letting people call them off, and then the people calling them off is not making the catch. That that dude is second base, the new guy that we just acquired from the from the Blue Jays. Man, come on. That's his second fucking time missing a catch. Like, come on, dude. Yeah, exactly. That's what I'm saying. De La Cruz did it. Will Benson did it. And number four, the, the dude from the new guy from the Blue Jays just did it. He caught off Christian Christian Carcion Strand and then misses the fucking catch. Like, how are you gonna call somebody off and then miss a catch? Come on, man. That is embarrassing as shit. What the fuck? One ball, no strikes to Garcia. Garcia pops it up, but it goes foul. One ball, one strike now. As Wilson is up to 14 pitches now. That should have been a simple catch. 
Who's the new guy from the Blue Jays? I forget his name now. I'll let you know as soon as I see it. I forget his name now. Santiago Espina, I think is how they pronounced his name just now. And that's the new guy from the Blue Jays, Santiago Espina. And he missed the catch. He's playing second base. He caught off Christian and the on strand and misses the fucking catch. Like, how are you going to call somebody off and then miss the catch? That's terrible. One ball, two strikes now. Garcia uh, is up to bat. He's 0 for 2 on the evening as uh, Eddie Rosario is over there at first base for the Washington Nationals. That one is swung on, popped up, and out of play again. Remains one ball, two strikes. As he will throw it over to first base, and Eddie Rosario is called back in there safely as Christian Nacarcy on Strand is looking over to see if David Bell wants to challenge that. Oh, he's out! Oh, I don't know. That's really close. All right, we're not going to challenge it, and he got him. Garcia is down on strikes. Let's go, baby. <laughs> Two out, one on, and nobody in here for the Washington Nationals in the top of the six. As David Bell is coming out, and Wilson is going to be taken out after 17 pitches. I believe they said Fernando Cruz, and yes, it is. Fernando Cruz is on his way out for the Cincinnati Reds. <clears throat> Bro, this is another guy I'm confident in. I I have 100% belief in Fernando Cruz. All right, please tell me we won. I forgot. I forgot that the shit started today. Yes, sir. Come on, man. What's up to the six people in the chat? Guys, we haven't already smacked that like button. It's free to help push out the content as we are coming back to the game as the Reds make a pitching change again with two outs in the top of the six. It will now be Fernando Cruz <coughs> in their pitching for the Reds. <coughs> The Reds have eight hits to the Washington Nationals, only five. As Fernando Cruz is in, as Lipkin comes in, swings at it, and missed it. Nice slider there by Fernando Cruz, as it is no balls, one strike. That one is swung on by Lipkin and hit foul, and it snowballs two strikes. Fernando Cruz, last season he appeared in 58 games, had a record of one and two. Uh, he had 
holds of seven in ERA of 4.81. I'm not sure anything else. It disappeared too quickly. That one is swung on and he got him. Nice fucking job. Let's go, Fernando Cruz. Yes, sir, baby. Great strikeout there. We're heading to the bottom of the sixth with a score still 4-2. to two. Cincinnati Reds do back up. Yeah, honestly, I'm surprised that Martini's not playing after a two-home run day. Like, I do not understand why he's not in the starting rotation, but... You know, at this point, um, it's David Belt's team, and we're just here to watch, I guess. Oh. He might be back in the starting lineup tomorrow, and I will be right here calling the game live for you guys tomorrow as well. So make sure that you do stop by for that game. Pickers All right, as we are back, and Caitlin, Caitlin or Kate, Cardlin, uh, Car, 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 Carlello, Carlello, I have no idea how to pronounce his name. One ball, no stripes. That one is swung on, grabbed on by the second baseman, and he is tagged out. Damn it, the first baseman did come off the bag but still applied the tag, and he is out. One out, nobody on, and nobody in. That right there was the guy that you was talking about, that, that I was talking about, that hit a home run earlier, but he got tagged out there, and I have no idea how the fuck to pronounce his last name. All right, here's the guy that we just acquired from the Blue Jays, Santa, Santos. Santos Espinal, Espinal, one ball, no strikes. That one is swung on and hit foul. One ball, one strike now. Thank you guys for the lights. Let's keep on getting them up there. As it is one ball, one strike. Drake Law still pitching. That one is outside the strike zone. Two balls, one strike now. That one is swung on, and it's just a high fly pop-up, and that is caught on. Something that we haven't been able to do today. He calls off everybody and actually made the catch. All right, here we go. De La Cruz is up now. He's one for two on the evening. Big rip by De La Cruz, and he missed it as it is one ball. I mean, no balls, one strike. As that one is top of the strike zone in there for a strike. 
No balls, two strikes now. <clears throat> that one is outside the strike zone. One ball, two strikes. That one is swung on by De La Cruz and hit foul. Still one ball, two strikes. That one is swung on and hit foul for De La Cruz. And it's still one ball, two strikes. That one is outside the strike zone. Two balls, two strikes now to De La Cruz. As Drake Law is up to 19 pitches on the evening. <clears throat> that one is swung on by Ellie De La Cruz, Ellie De La, De La Cruz and that one is hit foul. Two balls, two strikes now. That one is outside the strike zone. Three balls, two strikes, full count. Drake Law, 21 pitches on the evening. That one is swung on in a very nice slider in there for strike three. And that ends the side for the Reds. We're heading to the top of the seventh. With the Reds still up by two, as it is four to two, Cincinnati Reds lead it. <clears throat> What's up to the five people in the chat? How's everybody doing? Guys, I did want to remind you now that we're in the seventh stretch. A, first of all, that was my bad. I forgot to make a poll and ask you guys about who was going to win or whatnot. That was my bad. I forgot to do that. I'll do that tomorrow in tomorrow's game. That's A. And B, I wanted to let you guys know that I will be live for tomorrow's game. The game starts at, hang on, let's see. The game starts at 1.40 tomorrow, so I'll probably be live at around 1.25, 1.30-ish tomorrow evening. So, yeah, make sure that you stop on by. It is the it is the series final between us and the um, us and the Washington Nationals. <clears throat> Oh, hold up. Okay, we're back. And back to the top of the lineup as Arby's, as Arby's or Ar Arbor, however the fuck you pronounce that guy's name, rips it in there to left field. And it just rolls all the way around the wall. Will Benson is able to pick it up. 
but not till he gets into third base. Wow, all the way around from first to third. Yeah, I, I'm thinking the same thing, but I'm not sure. As Lane Thomas is up now, he's 0 for 2 on the evening, as that one is... <laughs> <clears throat> one ball, no strikes. That one is outside the strike zone, and Fernando Cruz gets up a run. Off of a wild pitch, Fernando Cruz cuts this down to a one point lead. <sighs> Oh, my God, man. That one is in there for a strike. Two balls, one strike now to Lane Thomas. As nobody's on, nobody out, and one in here for the Washington Nationals off of a wild pitch from Fernando Cruz. It's now three to four. Reds still leading. Top of the seventh. That one is swung on by Lane Thomas as he throws it over, and that is an out. Let's go, baby. One out, nobody on, and one in here for the uh, Washington Nationals in the top of the seventh. As Jesse Winker is up now. That one is in there for a strike. As Jesse Winker is one for two on the evening with a walk, a single, and a run. That one is down to the dirt by Fernando Cruz, and it's now one ball, one strike. Come on, man. Yeah, I honestly think we got a shot at it, John, as that one is outside the strike zone as well. Two balls, one strike now from Fernando Cruz. That one is outside the strike zone again. Three balls, one strike. Come on, man. That one's in there for a strike. Three balls, two strikes. I didn't think it was a strike, but the umpire calls it a strike. And it's three balls, two strikes now. Yes, sir. Three balls, two strikes. Come on, Fernando Cruz. Get him out. That one swung on by Jesse Winker, and he's also thrown out. Yes, sir, baby. Great work, Fernando Cruz. All right, Cruz up to 16 pitches so far as Manson is up now. That one is swung on, and he completely missed it. No balls, one strike. Come on, baby. That one is swung on. Nice slider as it's no balls, two strikes now. Uh, I am not Alex, no. 
I'm actually calling the Reds game tomorrow. It starts at 140. I'm going to be live at like 125, 130. That one is down in the dirt. Damn it. No, Alex, I'm full go right now on streaming Reds games right now. I'm full go. Anytime I can get a Reds game in, I'm going to get it in for you guys. So, yeah, I'm in full swing mode right now on Red games. So, I am planning on spending time with my family, but uh, we're going to have a cookout and Easter egg hunt after I get done with the game tomorrow. So, yeah. One ball, two strikes. That one is swung on, and he missed it. Menton missed it down in the dirt. Strikeout number three. Let's go, baby. Nice work, Fernando Cruz. As we head to the bottom of the seventh, as the uh, Washington Nationals did get one there, as the Reds still lead it by one, though, three to four. In the bottom of the seventh. Yeah, guys, if you haven't already, make sure that you're smashing that like button. And if you haven't already, please go ahead and subscribe as well. As we are an NFL channel. But when there is no NFL on, we do call Cincinnati Reds baseball games. <clears throat> All right, let's do this. All right. All right. As Jordan Wims is up now for the uh, Washington Nationals, as that one goes to the outside, Stuart Fairchild is in there. He is a two for two on the evening, bottom of the seventh now for the Red. As Stuart Fairchild has two singles and later came around to score a run. As that one is ripped on by Stuart Fairchild, and it's one ball, one strike now. Bottom of the seventh. Come on, Reds. Guys, am I am I good? Because on my end on the live stream, it looks like I'm freezing every two seconds. As that one is swung on by Stuart Fairchild, and it's one ball, two strikes now. As that one goes up and out of play. That one is to the outside. Two balls, two strikes now to Stuart Fairchild. Come on, Reds. Uh, Stuart Fairchild is out. 
I'm freezing a little. <clears throat> okay. Does it seem to be better now or <clears throat> am I still freezing? As it is one out, nobody on, and nobody in here for the Reds. In the bottom of the seventh is Luke Maley is up now. Is that one is in there for a strike? A nice slider there. As Wims is seeming like he's going to be a pretty good pitcher here for the Washington Nationals. That one is swung on by Luke Maley, hit foul, and that is no balls, two strikes now. As Luke, it's showing Luke Maley's home run where he gave the Reds the lead for uh, three to two. That one is swung on by Luke Maley, and he missed it. As it is two out, nobody on. Better? Okay, sweet. Thank you, Alex, for the help there. All right, as Will Benson is up now, he's one for one on the evening with a walk, a double, and a run as we'll see what he can do. That one is to the outside. One ball, no strikes. As it is two balls, no or two out, nobody on, and nobody in here for the Cincinnati Reds in the bottom of the seventh. That one is swung on. Will Benson, it's back there. It is grabbed on by Jesse Winker. What a grab by Winker there. And we're heading to the top of the eighth. With a score still three to four, the Reds lead it. All right, top of the eighth coming up, and the Reds are going to hit again. <clears throat> If I'm my chum, and I'm trying to get off of there. <clears throat> All right, so I don't know how true it is. I guess we'll figure out in a minute because uh, the game's still on commercial break. But it says that um, Fernando Cruz is being replaced by Lucas Sims, and he is. Lucas Sims is out there. As that one should have been a strike, but apparently not. As Joey Gallo is out, and Gallo is 0 for 3 on the evening. One ball, no strikes. Top of the eighth, Reds up by one, three to four. That one is swung on by Joey Gallo. A nice slider in there. One ball, one strike now. Lucas Sims last season appeared in 67 games. He had a record of seven and three. Uh, ERA of 318. That one is a bit too high for Lucas Sims. Two balls, one strike. Uh, they do not, John. Lucas Sims is in as that one is swung on by Joey Gallo, and it's ripped foul. 
as it is two balls, two strikes now. That one is outside the strike zone. Three balls, two strikes now to Joey Gallo. Come on, man. That one is swung on by Gallo, and he hit it foul. Remains three balls, two strikes. That one is swung on by Gallo, and he missed it. That's an out, one out, nobody on, and nobody in here for the Washington Nationals. As Gallo is down once again on strikeouts. All right, Ruiz, how the fuck you pronounce his name, is in now. He's two for three on the evening. As that one is swung on, but hit foul, no balls, one strike. Lucas Sims up to eight pitches on the evening. <clears throat> No runs allowed in the final 13 appearances of 2023 for Lucas Sims, as that one is swung on, maybe? No. All right, one ball, one strike. That one is swung on. It's a high fly. It is gone. And just like that, the Washington Nationals tie the game. You've got to be kidding me. Oh, my God, man. Terrible. Come on. Ruiz hits a home run and ties the ball game for the Washington Nationals. We are tied once again, four to four between these two teams. As that one is way to the outside, as it is a one ball in there. Strikes now to Eddie Rosario. Eddie Rosario is one for three. He had a single back in the sixth inning. As that one is swung on, grabbed on by Christian and the Carcion strain at first base, and he is out. As that is two out, nobody on, and one in here for the Washington Nationals as this game is tied once again. Yep. Yeah, that, that's what I mean, John, but I do not trust Lucas Sims, man. He's either really good or really shitty. I mean, to be honest, he hasn't been terrible here so far. Let me let me put emphasis on that. So far, <clears throat> you know, he does have two outs, but this could still turn into a really shitty inning. <clears throat> as that one is outside as well, two out. I mean, two balls, no strikes. As Garcia Jr. is up now, and he's zero for three on the evening. Lucas Sims already up to fourteen pitches. That one is swung on by Garcia and hit foul. One ball, two strikes. I mean, two balls, one strike, excuse me. <clears throat> that one is swung on by Garcia. That one's back there. Falls in the center right field. And Garcia pulls in with a double. A stand-up double with two outs. And once again, just like the home run that he threw just moments ago, it was straight down the fucking middle. Straight down Broadway. Uh, we're lucky that Garcia did not 
swing a home run there. That one is to the outside, but did he swing on it? And they're going to say no. And Lemkin, Lemkin is up now as it is one ball, no strikes. That one is swung on. Big hack, but he missed it. One ball, one strike. Come on, Lucas Sims. <clears throat> we need this out, baby. <clears throat> That one is a yes, sir. Let's go. One ball, two strikes. That one is to the outside. Two balls, two strikes now. Come on, man. All we need is one more out. That one is swung on, hit foul again, and it's going to remain two balls, two strikes. That one is swung on, grabbed on at second base, thrown over, got him out. Let's go. Thank God he didn't give up any more than the tying home run. And the Washington National leads the Reds in hits now. Reds are at eight still. And Washington Nationals are now at nine. So they have one more hit than the Reds do. <clears throat> I don't know. It might. We got we got to see how the eight, the bottom of the eighth goes. If we take the lead back, then I think he will come out. But if we don't, then yeah, probably not. All right, as Wimps has been replaced by Hunter. Har Harvey, Harvey for the uh, Washington Nationals as India is up now and that is in there for a strike. No balls, one strike. That one is swung on. Jonathan India, it's ripped in there to right center field. India, he was thinking about two, but he thought wisely and goes back to first. One on, nobody out, and nobody in here for the Reds. That one, like many today, was right down Broadway, and Jonathan India did not miss it. <clears throat>
All right, Spencer Steers up now. Is that one is to the outside? One ball, no strikes. <clears throat> Yeah, so far in the two games that we played this season, he really does seem like he is getting back on track. As that one is up too high, two balls, no strikes now. That one is swung on by Spencer Steer, and he missed it. Two balls, one strike. Come on, Steer. Steer is 0 for 3 on the day. Hunter Har Harvey appeared in 57 games last year, had a 4-4 four and four record. Not sure what his ERA was. As they will throw it over and check on the runner at first base. He is back in there safely. As it's still two balls, one strike to Spencer Steer. Steer is 0 for 3 on the day. <clears throat> Come on, man. As that one is outside the strike zone, and the runner wins, and Mitch in there safely. Three balls, one strike. Three balls, one strike to Spencer Steer, and the runner is now at second base. Let's go. Spencer Steer, straight to third base, throws it over, and he is out. Runner has to stay at second base because of the catch at third. Oh, damn, what the hell? All right, Christian and Acarcion Strand is 0 for 3 on the evening as well with two ground outs and a strikeout and apparently has not hit a single ball this season so far. Granted, we are only in the two games. That one is swung on. Grabbed on at third base, thrown over, and he's also out. Him and Spencer Steerman have not done shit today. They're both 0 for 4. Get out of here, man. <clears throat> All right, Jake Ken Kenlin is up now, and he is 1 for 3. That one is to the outside. One ball, no strikes. That one is outside the strike zone as well. Two balls, no strikes. <clears throat> That one is in there for a strike. Two balls, one strike. It was showing uh, Kendlin's uh, Ken home run from earlier. That's what I was clapping about, guys. And that one is bottom of the zone. I thought it was in there for a strike, but it's called a ball. And that's three balls, one strike now. That one is outside the strike zone as well, and he walked him. Two on, two out, and nobody in here for the Reds as Harvey is up to 14 pitches on the evening.
All right. It looks like Nick Martini is going to come in. And he is going to pitch hit here. All right, let's go, Nick Martini. Two on, two out, and nobody in here for the Reds. Nick Martini is up. He has five of the six home runs last season, as we'll see if he can get another one here today. That one is swung on by Nick Martini, and he missed it. No balls, one strike. That one is swung on and he missed it again. No balls, two strikes. All right, come on, Nick. That one is swung on and hit foul. And it's no balls, two strikes. Harvey is up to 17 pitches on the evening. That one is swung on and he hit foul again as it's no balls, two strikes. Hey, come on. That one is swung on. He rips it in there. He's done it again. Nick Martini. This guy is fucking on fire. And the Reds lead it by two. Let's fucking go. Nick Martini up to third. This guy is unfucking real. Are you serious? Two on runs and on opening day. And now he gives the Reds the lead again by two. <laughs> Nick fucking Martini, man. Nick Martini. Learn the fucking name. This man is going to be a red for years to come. Oh, you got to love it. Am I freezing over here? Come on, bro. Don't be freezing on me now. Guys, by the way, if you didn't hear me there for a minute, because I may have been freezing, Nick Martini hits a triple and brings in two runners, and it's now six to eight. Reds leading in the bottom of the eighth as Ella De La Cruz is up, and Nick Martini is on third base. And that one is straight down center field, and De La Cruz just watches it. What the fuck are you doing, De La Cruz? All right. Well, we're heading to the top of the ninth as the Reds lead it by two after a Nick Martini triple, uh, triple or a Nick Martini uh, double RBI on a triple. And as we head to the top of the ninth, the Reds got a chance to win it. And I think I just seen uh, De La Cruz, I mean, not De La Cruz, uh, Alexis Diaz coming out to finish up the night.
<clears throat> All right, as uh, Spencer Steers came in to second base now, Jake Fraley is playing right field. Will Benson will take over at left field. <clears throat> And Alexis Diaz, the man of the hour, has entered the building. Last season, he played in 71 games at a 96 record, saved 37 uh, opportunities, 40 of them. He has an ERA of 3.7 innings pitch, 671, I think it said. As that one is apparently a little to the outside. Come on, man. All right, as Chris, is CJ um, uh, Ambrose is up now, as it is one ball, no strikes. That one is a little to the outside again. Two balls, no strikes. And Alexis Diaz is like, are you fucking kidding me? Nick, Nick Martin, man, is a fucking name all Cincinnati Reds need to get used to because he's going to be on the team for years to come, Connor. I can already tell it, and he's only been playing in two games. That one is a four-pitch walk because this fucking umpire doesn't know how to do his job. Those... All should have been strikes. That is unreal. <clears throat> All right, Lane Thomas is up now. He's over three on the evening. That one is in there for a strike. One ball or no balls, one strike. <clears throat> Oh, yeah, then he needed to be ejected. As that one is to the outside, one ball, one strike now. Come on, Alexis Diaz, let's finish it. <clears throat> that one is swung on by Lane Thomas and hit up and out of play. One ball, two strikes. That one is swung on, and he missed it, and that's out number one. Why do you say that, Alex? All right, Jesse Winker's up now. That one is to the outside. Winker, one for three. One ball, no strikes. And Arby's still second base. Come on, man. That one is in there for a strike. One ball, one strike now. Come on, baby. That one is swung on by Winker, and that's going to bring a run around. Oh, my God, man. Five to six with only one out, and Jesse Winker rips it in the center field. And 
Arby, Arbos or Arby's, however the hell you pronounce his name, came around from second to score. And it is now a one point game. Oh, damn. I didn't know that. Holy shit. All right. As Man, Man, Man Nisi, however the hell you pronounce his last name, Joy Man, Man Nisi, is in to bat now as he's one for three. As it is no balls, one strike. That one is swung on and he hit it foul. No balls, two strikes. Come on. That one gets passed. And runner is up to third base now. One on at first, one on at third, and only one out. Oh, my God. I would have done with the way that he's playing right now. I absolutely would. He hit two home runs in yesterday's game, comes in and gets us two RBIs in today's game. Yeah, that man is on fire right now. Now, may, now what you're seeing may be true during the middle of the season. You know, he might start to cool down, and then that's when maybe you decide to take him out. But right now, he would definitely be in my everyday starting lineup. Oh, this is not looking great at all for the Reds. One out, two on, two already, or one already in here for the Reds, and there's still only one out. All right, one ball, no strikes. That one's way outside the strike zone. Two balls, no strikes now. Nunez is still second base. Runners at second and third now. Three balls, no strikes to Gallo. Yeah, I'd be down for that. And that's a four ball walk to Gallo. And these bases are loaded with the Washington Nationals only being at one. And guess what? As you can see, still only one out. Ruiz is up now. He's three for four in the evening with two singles, a home run, and everything else already in the books. That one is swung on. He pops it up foul. No balls, one strike. That one. That one hits. God damn, man. Are you kidding me?
This game's time. Oh my god, man. This game is tied with still only one out. All right, it looks like Stooner is going to come in for the Reds. Yeah, and it is going to be Stooner. It's Brett Stooner to try to just get us out of this inning tied so we can have a chance to win it in the ninth. Nice, nice. Oh, my gosh. <clears throat> All right, here we go. That one is way outside the strike zone. One ball, no strikes, as Eddie Rosario is up now. And he is one for four. That one is swung on Eddie Rosario. It's way back there. Will Benson caught it? Will Benson? Second out, but Eddie Rosario does his job and hits one way out to center field. I mean, right left field. And the Washington Nationals now have the lead, seven to six. All right, as Garcia Jr. is up now, he's one for four in the evening. That one is swung on, but he hits it off of his shoe. No balls, one strike. Oh, my God, man. Wow. The Reds are really going to fucking lose this game after taking the lead. After so many times. Swung on, grabbed on, pitched over. Got him. All right, that's out number three, but the Reds need at least one run to tie it, two to win it. Are you goddamn kidding me, dude? Uh, nah, nah, bro. I'm, I'm sorry, but I'm not rebuilding the whole goddamn scoreboard over life. Dude, I hate. I hate this goddamn shit, dude. I hate when the fucking scoreboard overlay does that stupid shit. Tucker, I agree, man. It's the same fucking bullshit problems that we have every fucking year. And it's the pitching. Alexis Diaz, all he had to do was get three outs. Couldn't do that. Tied the game. Then the Reds bring in Sooner. Sooner allows um, <clears throat> Eddie Rosario to hit it out to left field. Bring in another run. Seven to six now. And then he finally got the last out. So now the Reds have to score at least one run to even tie it and two runs to win the game. And I will call the very I will call the very inning game for you guys like this because 
dude, I cannot stand this scoreboard overlay shit where where StreamYards does not let you put that in there. Yeah. Oh shit. All right, hopefully the hopefully the Reds can win this game still though. All we need is one run and then <clears throat> yeah, who knows? All right, as the starting uh, two starting pitchers tomorrow is Jake Irvin for the Washington uh, Nationals and Nick Martinez for the Cincinnati Reds. So that should be a very interesting. Come on, Reds. They can't. The, yeah, I think they can. They got a shot. We'll see. Stuart Fairchild, that's just a high fly pop up out number one. Oh my God, man. Wow. One out, nobody on, and nobody in as Kyle fin uh, Finglin, F Finglin, however the hell you pronounce his name, comes in to pitch now for the Washington Nationals. He blew he blew eight saves last season. So we'll see what he does here as Luke Maley is up now. And all we need is again is one home run. That one is outside the strike zone. One ball, no strikes. All right. One for three on the evening. And that one hit was a two run home run back in the top of the fifth. I mean back in the bottom of the fifth. As that is a big hack, and it's one ball, one strike now. That one is swung on. He hit it foul, and it's one ball, two strikes now. Well, shit, if you need to watch Reds games, uh, just make sure to stop by here. That's all we do is call Reds games. Is That one is swung on by Luke Maley, and he hit a foul. Yep. 100%, John. Yep. If we lose this game, we can blame it solely on... Pitching and our defense because both were really fucking shit today. That one is outside the zone. Two balls, two strikes. Now, all right, two balls, two strikes. Now, come on. That one is too high. Three balls, two strikes, full count. I'm hoping so. It's three balls, two strikes right now. That one is swung on and hit foul. Remains three balls, two strikes. What's up to the team people in the chat? How's everybody doing? Guys, make sure you're smacking that like button if you haven't already. Go ahead and subscribe as well if you're new in here. We are a NFL channel, but when there's no NFL on, we do call Reds games. As that one is swung on by Luke Maley again, but hit it foul. Still three balls, two strikes. He swung on it. That's a high pop up, and it goes out of play again. Remains three balls, two strikes.
Oh, come on, man. <clears throat> Look, Bailey. Ah, uh, if that one would have stayed fair, he would have ripped it into left field, maybe even a home run, but it goes foul off to the left side. Three balls, two strikes. Come on. That one is outside the zone, and they walked him. Luke Manley is on with a walk. Fucking go, baby. Let's go. You did call that. Nice job, Tucker. You did call that. Finnegan is up to 12 pitches on the evening. Will Benson is in now. And that one is a nice slider in there for a strike one. No balls, one strike. Will Benson, one for two on the evening with a walk, a double, and a, a run in. Will Benson rips it, but hit it foul. No balls, two strikes. Listen, I'm going for a home run here, Tucker. All right? I need a home run here to win the game for us. Well, Benson swinged that one outside the strike zone, and he's out. Oh, my God, man. Two out, one on, nobody in here for the Reds. That was, that was just such an ignorant fucking swing by Will Benson there. All right, Tyler Stevenson is uh, up now. Tyler Stevenson last season in 142 games had an average of 243, 13 home runs. I'm not sure how many RBIs, but we'll see what he can do here. Come on, Tyler Stevenson. That swung on by Tyler Stevenson, and he is caught out. What? There's no fucking way. Yeah, he was out. <sighs> well, guys, that is fucking game. It looks like the Cincinnati Reds will not be challenging it, and they lose by one, seven to six. So the Reds are now one and one on the season. And until tomorrow, I am out of here. Hopefully, the fucking Reds do better than they did today, man. They look like an absolute joke today. So, I will see you guys back here tomorrow. I hope you enjoyed this broadcast. Even though we lost, I had a lot of fun hanging out with you guys. It's nice to be back for baseball season. And I'm out. Until tomorrow, peace. <laughs>